So any of you out there that have a walk-in shower, um, I'm going to show you what I do. If I don't put water outside for my ducks to get a bath, when I bring them in, um, in the house, because they're house ducks, I will fill this walk-in shower with water and I will use just this little plug that I made. So I just have... Hang on a minute. This is what I have. I know it needs to be cleaned. Don't anybody leave me a comment and tell me I need to clean my uh, shower. Because I, I already know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you'll see them in that later after I bring them in, in here. So as I'm filling this, uh, you can see I just kind of turn the shower head over there a little bit. They get a little bit of sprinkle when they're in there. They kind of like that. And I'll just, I, I don't fill it up all the way, of course, or they'd be swimming in there and knocking all the water out. But um, I'll give them about three inches. And then we'll go to sleep in there for a little while. I'll just close the uh, sh shower curtain with the liner. They're not trying to get out or anything. They're, they're having a good old time in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the curtain. I'm gonna have to wrangle Petunia, the brown one, uh, Petunia too. So I'm wrangling her up, and the other one is gonna come up on her own. That's Mrs. Quackers. in. Where are you going? She's going to go to her pen. Alright All right, girls. So there they are. Take your little bath. I know. Little buggies. Spoiled rotten. Or somebody would run me a bath. Oh, it's exhausting sometimes. So there they are in their pen. See, so we're nice and clean. And I'll change over here from my other video. You know, I'm using this piece of glassware because uh, this wild duck, Petunia, who's a cracky Campbell, uh, would sit in the darn bucket like a wild duck would. So I put that in the middle and she doesn't sit in the bucket anymore. And then I put that ceramic um, dog bowl upside down in that space in the corner because she's like digging like she would in dirt. So she's pulling up the, the towel and she's getting to the, um, the pee pads that I have underneath the towels. And um, she's trying to eat that so I kind of blocked that and so I kind of outsmarted the little bugger didn't I Petunia yeah I know so you've been outsmarted for now anyway and uh they both just started laying eggs again I got two eggs this morning huh Petunia yeah you just started laying your little eggs and so there they are and I'm gonna just shut this overhead light off and they're gonna take their little nap. And then they'll be quacking for their tomatoes that I give them and their, I dice up some lettuce and I put it in the bucket there. And they really like that. So when I feed my dogs and my cat, they're making a fuss for their stuff. In the winter time, I usually buy like a lettuce mix, spinach and spring mix. And I'll buy, we, we uh, grow on tomatoes otherwise, but, you know, and then I'll buy just, 
I'll give them like four of these and split it up between the two of them, which I'll do now so you can see how they feed on them. So they know they're gonna get some tomatoes, the little buggers. Hi, girl. Come here. Come here. Okay. Watch. I just want you to see what, how ducks behave when they're begging, when they're begging for food, because now they know that I'm in the kitchen and they want their chopped up lettuce. So you can hear that for a minute. Okay, we're begging. Yeah, we're begging. And also, I wanted you to see the, um, come on, move girls. four hours of poo because I gave them tomatoes and I gave and I leave their food in there and then I'm, I'm going to change the towel now and then I'm going to chop up their lettuce so there's their fresh towel you know my husband and I we don't have children it's just uh the two of us that live here if I had a family would I have indoor ducks no but they are very intelligent. They're very cuddly, very kissable. They like to be sung to. And uh, they like coming in the house, you know? So, you know, that's just my situation with them. I just changed their towel around 11 o'clock. So I, when they come in around three or four, it's cleaned in there. And then um, around seven or eight, I'll put a clean towel down. And then around 11 to midnight, I'll put it take the dirty towel out again and put uh, a, a new towel down for the night. And then they go out around eight o'clock in the morning. And they don't eat throughout the night. Like they might nibble in the morning, but there's really not much in there um, after I take their towel out at 11 or 12. So you, you can remove their food, but um, I just let them have food whenever they want it. So now I'm gonna chop up their lettuce and then you'll see me giving it to them in the So they're bucket. making a fuss because they know I got the lettuce, right? Okay. Here you go. So at midnight, I'll change the towel or 11 o'clock if I'm tired. Even 10 if I'm really tired. And then I'll give them a fresh bucket of water and a fresh towel. Cover them up the whole top of this pen with the quilt. And uh, lights out until the morning. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.